Hi, you guys. This is Christy Herman with Life at a Glance. And today I wanted to talk about girl mamas. So the first thing I wanted to say was I am a very proud girl mama of three beautiful, amazing daughters. And the pressure is very high, especially for me, because, you know, I am the one that they look up to, as, you know, all you other mothers know. Um, and the thing about that is it's tough because I see and realize all of my flaws and I want so much more for them than what I see in myself. Which brings me to my next point, which is... I'm starting to practice a lot more positive self-talk because, you know, when a child sees and hears you putting yourself down, you know, they think that maybe you think that about them and that's not really the case. The reason I am the way that I am is I'm very hard on myself. I expect a lot from myself just like I expect a lot from my daughters. But there's a way of going about it that I've learned recently. You know, waking up in the morning, hey Christy, you know what, you're the shit. You've accomplished so much in your life, you've come so far, you lost five pounds last week, and <laughs> just killing it, you know? And so the more we feel that way about ourselves, the more we can pass it on to our daughters. That's how I truly feel. You know, it's important. The next point I wanted to make was that what I try to do is spend time with each and every one of my daughters. I realize it is so hard to make everyone feel like it's fair constantly that you hang out with each and every one of them just as much as the other. And But that's what I try to do. I try to spread my time to where I can get to know each and every one of my children even better than the day before and they can get to know me we can share with each other teach each other and I think those alone times are very very important um, like for example my oldest Jade she will be 13 at the end of June which is crazy because I feel like I just had her just yesterday um, but she's she's my little preteen right now and you know one of the things we do together is she's my little early bird like me so in the morning we wake up I make my coffee and she'll usually be right behind me and we'll get up and watch Dr. Phil together or we'll watch you know Disney Plus a movie on there we'll find anything and we'll talk we'll catch up on what we need to take care of for the day and it's really nice because that's kind of like our time you know sometimes even if we're not even talking we're just there together we'll cuddle it's it's the best feeling in the whole world that's one thing I love to do with Jade now Danica my middle baby girl she is 11 and she's in her preteen kind of stages right now too and with, with me and her, it's really nice because she's my one that wants to go with me everywhere. She says, Mommy, you're going to Rite Aid? You're going to Walmart? I want to go with you. And I never deny her, like, sure, baby girl, come with me, you know, because I, I realize that one day that might not be the case. She might not want to come hang with me, you know, and I just really enjoy all of those moments together. You know, again, talking, not talking crying together, being able to open up to each other and, and get that one-on-one -on -one time, you know? Another thing with Danica is her basketball, you know? Since she joined school basketball last season, we had such a good time going to her games, being on the sidelines, being her biggest fan, you know? And so that's our thing we do every Saturday now. She's got a game every Saturday and she shows up, she does her thing and she does it to the best of her ability every single time and she does great and it just makes me very proud to be her mother and then last but very not least is my Madison who will be three in July she's amazing she's a sweetheart but she's daring and she's bold and she's 
awesome. The things I'd love to do with Madison is we'll get really into trying new hairstyles and she'll let me do it which shocks me because she's my little can't stay still you know always moving but when I try new hairstyles on her she'll actually sit there and the other thing too is when I buy her any new outfit she'll put it on I usually buy her a lot of like tutu style things because she literally like will do this walk right after I put like a skirt on her like she's being sassy like she already knows that she's cute that she's feminine and she's so adorable and yeah and just finding new shows that that she likes or movies like right now she's so into Shrek and I started that because I was like I love Shrek I bet Madison will freaking love Shrek and it's true, she does. She laughs at <laughs> what she thinks is going on, you know? She likes when Shrek d does the roar, you know? That's, she loves it. And I just, I feel so blessed every day I wake up because all three of my girls are amazing. They really truly are. I could sit here and I could talk about the drama moments, but I don't want to because the good most certainly outweighs the bad and I'm sure a lot of girl moms know what I'm talking about it's like you forget about it the next day most of the time because they're sweethearts you know they mean well they really truly do now the other thing I wanted to talk about was I feel like it's important as mothers that we be their rock at any age whether they're three to 15 to I don't have anyone over that age <laughs> yet, but you know, they never stop needing us. And the reason I know that is because I've never stopped needing my mother my whole life. Excuse me. Excuse me again. <laughs> Who just passed, you know, this last March, her birthday's actually this coming up weekend. But um, yeah, just, be there for them anything they need if they need someone to you know stand up for them because a lot of times in the preteen and below stage you know people haven't learned that skill and to this day it still can be hard for me even you know because you know what you don't want to start confrontation or you you want to just let a lot of things go um but it's important that we we stand up for them I think another thing that's really important is earning our children's trust, you know, letting them know that they can trust us with anything that they they feel inside telling us, you know, because we're their safe place. We're not going to judge them constantly. We're here to guide them. So I feel like being super judgmental pushes children away, and I firmly, firmly believe that. So earning trust, be a trustworthy person to them, you know? And another thing too is, I think for girls and daughters, it's important to let them know it's okay to be emotional because we're women too. And, you know, we've been on this roller coaster ride of emotion <laughs> and hormones and you know, all of that. And, I think the more people know that they're normal, what they're going through is okay, the more they, they don't have stress about feeling like they're overly emo or like something's wrong with them. So, so that's one thing I try to do is make sure they feel it's okay to express their emotions and to be an emotional person. I believe that means that they're passionate you know, a lot of times when we cry, it's because we feel so strongly. I'm a crier. I've been an emotional person, honestly, most of my life because I, I am sentimental and I do think and feel things very deeply. And so I understand when they go through those moments, you know, um, again, be, be their biggest fan, but also be your biggest fan, you know. I think I talked about it in my last podcast, you know, 
take care of yourself because there's really, really, truly no way we can take and give our all to anybody else until we take care of ourselves. And the reason I stress that isn't because I'm some perfect person that takes care of herself all the time. It's because I haven't taken care of myself in the past. And it really got me nowhere. So I realized, hey, Christy, you are very important, just like each and every one of you women you know, so let's take care of ourselves, whatever we need to do. Let's do that. So we can be the best moms we can be for our daughters. So important. Um, another one, this isn't just for girl mamas, but it's for every mama. I think we want our children to be independent because we know that day is going to come. I don't, again, I told you I'm emo. I don't really want to think about it right now, but I know it will be there that I have to let them go spread their wings. So <laughs> when they get to that point, I don't want them to be lost. I want them to have enough tools and life experience to know how to take care of themselves in the real world, but knowing I'm always here. So that's my little spielski for today. I don't really know what that word was. But um, yeah, you guys, honestly, comment. I'm always willing, you know, to take advice too because I am i wouldn't call myself new at this mothering, especially girl mothering, but I'm not really advanced. So, you know, I like advice. I like to, to share stories and I really like to swap ideas about different things we can do to improve in our parenting and in ourselves. So yeah, uh, that's all I have for today. But I wanted to say thank you so much for listening. And I wanted to say thank you, God, for making me a girl mama, because it has made me the best person I could possibly be. And for that, I thank him. <laughs> And honestly, without my daughters, I don't know where the crap I would be. And so, yeah, I love them to pieces. I love you guys to pieces. So, yeah, let's have a good week, okay? Bye, you guys.